Hello, this is Amadeusz Andrzejewski, and this time I'm speaking to you in English. I decided to do a test and see if uh, my English-speaking viewers will like it more like that. Um, usually I speak in Polish and put English hard subs on, at the bottom. It's not convenient for everyone, but why not try a new form? And in this video I'll be talking about the new Canon EOS RP and specifically about its sensor, uh, which happens to be the slowest one I've ever measured among uh, 4K recording cameras. Uh, how did I get to such conclusion? Oh, uh, of course, for detailed explanations about my test procedures, I'd have to uh, send you over to videos where I describe how I use the test chart for uh, testing video equipment and film mode on still cameras and uh, another video which is more important in this uh, particular aspect about how I uh, measure rolling shutter distortion in cameras because it took me a while and I finally figured a way to uh, get a result in milliseconds precise time reading for a camera I'm testing so I can compose a table, a chart, list the cameras, have them arranged by the readout speed and so on and once I have that and knowing how they achieve a 4K image e.g. is it uh, true using a center crop of the image then it's like 8.3 megapixels and I have the time, I have the resolution, so I know how many megapixels per second can the sensor do. Same for oversampled sensor. For example, uh, my A6300 has a 24 megapixel sensor and 16 by 9 portion of it is 20.25 megapixels and then reads that out in a given time. So if we divide this 20 something megapixels by that time, we get the speed in megapixels per second. So this is the table with my results measured. So first I show you the results of uh, rolling shutter in 4K by cameras. This is a part of a bigger tables. So I have this list for HD2, but right now we're focusing on the EOS RP. As you can see, the EOS RP is not on the rock bottom of this list. My wonderful Sony A6300 is, and uh, A6400 because they share the same technology. Uh, but because the uh, A6300 uses oversampling and the EOS RP uses a center crop, if we convert this measurement, this rolling shutter result, into megapixels per second measurement, which you can see right now on the screen, we see that the EOS RP actually has the slowest sensor ever, which I believe kind of explains why it's not capable of doing 4K in 30 frames per second, it's only limited to 25. For me, a European, that's not a problem, but uh, I've read American bloggers not being happy about it, and I guess I understand them. It's not only the RP, as you can see, the three cameras that are at the bottom of this sensor speed list are uh, the Canon EOS R, the Canon 5D Mark IV, and the Canon EOS RP. I haven't measured uh, the 6D Mark II, and I haven't measured the M50 or the new SL2 or how we call it in Europe the 250D. Uh, I don't expect them to be significantly faster but maybe because of the smaller sensor sizes as you can see usually the smaller sensors are faster than large one but it's just a coarse general trend. So maybe the, the APS-C cameras by Canon will be faster because their full-frame cameras definitely aren't fast and it actually shows that uh, Canon offering only limited 4K with crop, with limited frame rates and so on. It's not only they're being mean and the accountant saying no, we have to cripple it with the cripple hammer. Credits to camera conspiracies for the cripple hammer. We have to cripple it because it will then threaten the uh, cinema EOS line. It's not only that. This table I've shown you clearly points out that they actually have some technological problems. And I've actually made a separate video about it. That one is in Polish with English subtitles. If you want, uh, you can find it in the description below. I'll put a link over there. Now, I used to own a Canon 7D. It was a good equi equipment back in the day. You know, some people still love the Canon colors and so on. But they are more and more attracted to other manufacturers because they simply offer way newer technology, way better specifications. I myself switched to Sony, so I'm a prime example of that. So I hope Canon get this thing right eventually. And if you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Uh, please also let me know if you like uh, this formula of me talking in English. 
sorry if I happen to have a Polish accent or I screw the grammar a little bit. I haven't spoken, I know English obviously, but I haven't spoken it regularly for quite a while now. Anyway, uh, I'd appreciate any comment uh, about if you like this formula uh, and if you maybe aren't a Polish speaking person so that I know my audience uh, not only from the statistics but also from direct feedback. Thank you very much, see you in the next video, bye!